Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be discussing the straight line method of depreciation. The specific objectives we will cover are we will understand the terms used in depreciation. We will use the straight line method of depreciation to find the amount of depreciation each year. We will use the straight line method to find the book value of an asset. And we will use the straight line method to prepare a depreciation schedule. Let's begin by looking at a few definitions. Assets can be tangible or intangible. Tangible assets are items such as machinery, vehicles, or computers. Intangible assets are things such as patents, copyrights, or customer lists. Cost is the total amount paid for the asset. Useful life is the period of time during which an asset will be used. Salvage value is the estimated value of an asset when it is retired from service, traded in, disposed of, or exhausted. Accumulated depreciation is a running balance of the amount of depreciation taken to date, and book value is the cost of an asset minus the total depreciation to date. Now let's use the straight line method to find the amount of depreciation and the book value of an asset. We have an asset that costs $660. It has an estimated life of eight years, has an estimated scrap value of $100. We're going to find the annual depreciation, and we're going to find the book value at the end of five years. Depreciation is the depreciable amount divided by years of life. And the depreciable amount is the cost minus the scrap value. So our depreciable amount here will be $660 subtract the scrap value, $100, so our depreciable amount will be $560. So our annual depreciation will be $560, which is the depreciable amount, divided by the years of life, which is eight years. So the annual depreciation here will be $70. We want to find the book value at the end of five years. So for five years depreciation, we will have... $70 times 5, which is $350. So the book value at the end of five years will be the cost, which is $660, subtract the Five years, depreciation, $350, which is $310. So the book value of this asset at the end of five years will be $310. Now let's use the straight line method to prepare a depreciation schedule. Savannah Pipe has purchased a laboratory crusher costing $18,000, having an estimated life of four years and a salvage value of $1,600. Prepare a depreciation schedule using the straight line method of depreciation. The depreciable amount will be $18,000 subtract $1,600 or $16,400. So the annual depreciation will be $16,400 divided by 4, which is $4,100, or 25% of $16,400. Now let's prepare the depreciation schedule. In year zero, the book value is $18,000. The first year's depreciation is 25% of $16,400, which is $4,100. So the accumulated depreciation for the first year is $4,100. We subtract that from $18,000 to obtain a new book value of $13,900. For the second year, the amount of depreciation is the same. It's 25% times $16,400, which the amount of depreciation is $4,100 which is added to the previous year's depreciation, giving us $8,200. So we subtract $4,100 from $13,900 to get $9,800. For the third year, the amount of depreciation is the same. 
we add 4,100 to 8,200 to get 12,300, and we subtract 4,100 from 9,800 to obtain 5,700. For the fourth year, the amount of depreciation is the same. You'll see the accumulated depreciation is $16,400, and the book value is $1,600, which is the salvage value of the item. Let's remember, when we're doing a depreciation schedule, that the book value of an asset at the end of each year is always the original cost minus the accumulated depreciation. In this section, we have discussed a straight line method of depreciation. Businesses use depreciation, and there are many different ways to depreciate assets. So you need to get to work now and practice some of these problems with a straight line method.